I'm Matt Ozalis. I'm an application developer, so I develop cool things for the ADS RF and microwave tool to, uh, to do. So we're at IMS. We're in San Francisco, which is uh, kind of my hometown, and um, it's a great city. A lot of people are really excited about 5G, so 5G is kind of the next, uh, the next piece of the communications puzzle, and there's a lot of different people talking about all sorts of technologies which are going to enable um, wireless connectivity. We've been working with Wolfspeed, and one of the things that we're really excited about is that they're releasing a new PDK. So they've got um, high power devices and they've got electrothermal um, capabilities there. So I'm really kind of excited about getting to play around with that a little bit. Uh, not only for reliability, so with electrothermal capabilities, you can look at the reliability of the devices, but you can also do some other really interesting things with it. So for example, you could, if you're building a, a Doherty type of power amplifier, you can see how the different devices interact thermally, things like that. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to working with the PDK and playing with it. Yeah, the how-to videos were kind of, a lot of uh, times, you, you know, we talk about the tool, but um, what we really wanted to showcase was the types of things that you can do with the tool and how easy it can be to build these types of circuits if you kind of uh, know what you're doing and can set things up correctly. So that's, that's what we thought for the how-to series. And we just picked a bunch of topics that we're interested in, and we also have a lot of expertise in our group at ESOF, so a lot of people are experts in different areas. And so what we did was look at um, different things that people had worked on and experienced, and then we built videos basically around that. So how to enable different types of design approaches or different technologies. So we've got a great how-to video on electrothermal. We've got one on design of experiments. Uh, so power amplifiers, just so many different topics that we've been able to cover. And we really enjoy uh, just you know, having fun and making these videos. One of the biggest things, and we're showing it over here, is the layout capabilities in ADS. So I think the customers are really excited about that. Um, not only do we have some verification tools enabled, but we've done a lot of really interesting things on our layout tool. So now people who are doing circuit design in ADS, they can actually build their physical layouts there and do electromagnetic simulation, all of those things. So uh, definitely the, the people are pretty excited. We've heard lots of good feedback about that. One of the things that we've really been improving on the layout front is the uh, module layout capability. So something that's really interesting is that you can pull different technologies together in ADS. So if you're working on an IC, you can drop that into your module and start to analyze the IC together with the module. So you can really look at integration between different uh, technologies. And so uh, we've improved a lot of things around that area. So when you're bringing the technology in, how do you, how do you connect it together? Um, how do you look at the different nets and nodes? So one of the things we did is if you have a schematic, and you have the names of the nets, so you have uh, voltage, VCC, and maybe you have your RF input, and you want to transfer those to layout. In ADS, we've made it really easy to pull those net names into the layout so that you can see exactly when you're working on your physical structures what those relate to in your schematic.